Uh, my name is Hakimi. I'm uh, from Epson Middle East and I'm the sales manager for point of sale solutions and labeling solutions for the Middle East. And uh, today we are here um, to discuss and explore opportunities on uh, labeling in general and also printing and packaging um, along with the uh, SGI organization team. Um, so the idea is uh, how to promote and explore uh, potential for the on-demand labeling uh, in the region. Uh, we as Epson, we have been um, really active uh, in this segment for the past uh, two to three years uh, with the coming of our Colorworks uh, labeling uh, solution range. Um, the on-demand uh, labeling technology is growing across the world. Uh, it's coming to the Middle East and uh, is directly linked with the, uh, with the development of manufacturing in general, uh, but also development of retail packaging uh, solutions. And uh, we are really keen to explore uh, this market uh, along with other players and also understand and get insights and knowledge uh, through sharing in, in, in similar type of platforms and events. Yeah, so I hope this event will bring more knowledge and uh, good luck. Hello, good morning everyone. I am Nayyar Ansari. I'm a business development manager representing Konica Minolta. I'm responsible for production print and industrial print uh, for the region. Um, quality um, events are a good platform to learn um, and to understand uh, what's happening as far as market dynamics are concerned. Um, and as far as label market is concerned, the, the demand for short-term label, as we all know, uh, is linked to packaging, which, is, which has the highest projected growth in, in, in printing business. Um, globally, as Konica Minolta, we have been in business, um, for label business, past uh, three, four years, and we have had uh, a fair success. Um, in the region, we started about two years back, and uh, so far we have had a few installations, um, which is, uh, you know, not a bad start. Um, and we would like to uh, see more of uh, opportunities where we would like to have our uh, uh, solutions placed. Um, packaging and label, uh, they, as I said, they have the highest uh, projected growth. Um, so we have to see how uh, the, the mindset of the user changes towards uh, shorter label. Uh, the challenge is changing the mindset because shifting from one technology onto uh, the other one uh, is quite a challenge. So once, uh, you know, so once we are able to uh, determine how to do that mindset change, then, then I think uh, you know, we will have more acceptability towards uh, shorter labels. All right. That's good. So, so my name is Mohammed Salah. Uh, I work for Epson Middle East. I'm with the company since 2005. Uh, I'm business account manager. I take care of the retail and hospitality market. And today we are invited to talk about the color label printing solutions from our side. Um, this is in short, <laughs> quickly. Okay. Good morning, everyone. My name is Hakimi. I'm also from Epson Middle East. And uh, thank you for uh, this opportunity uh, to share knowledge and insights. Uh, hello, everyone. Good morning. My name is Nayyar Ansari. I'm business development uh, manager for uh, Konica Minolta. My portfolio covers production print and industrial business. Yeah, and this is a good platform. Uh, we have a lot of uh, experience and, uh, uh, you know, professionals, so good opportunity to learn. Thank you. So, I'm the founder of uh, Whitewater PR. So, we do the PR and marketing and social media uh, for IEC uh, and uh, SGI and the other show that we have. Uh, so, we, we have created this concept uh, so that, uh, because it's not there in this particular region, you know, you don't have, a, you know, a forum where people come and sit and talk 
and share their own experiences and stuff like that. So our objective is to nurture this and grow it further. Uh, so this is just a beginning from the labeling industry point of view. And uh, the next ones are going to be, uh, you know, at the show itself, we'll have more uh, such opportunities to discuss. Uh, to begin with, uh, I would request you to share your knowledge uh, in terms of uh, where labeling industry is today. And uh, so perhaps you can share that uh, first. And, and which are the co uh, you know, core markets that you're looking at at this moment? Actually, in the beginning, I was talking with the gentleman mm. about the color labeling uh, solutions we are we are offering. Mm -hmm. um, we are not offering the you know the high print volume for labels. However, we sit in the area where it is called for short run, short -run. label printing. Okay, this is our target as Epson. Okay, so we don't offer the high number of labels mm -hmm. uh, printing. Right. So our printers are for uh, short run. Mm -hmm. So. I will give you a small example. Sure. If you go to the print press, mm -hmm. and uh, they will tell you the minimum amount of labels you have to buy is 100,000 labels. Sure. Okay. So because they need to operate their machines, mm -hmm. you know, to start that they have like plates and so many things. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, any for that they will have this small cost per label, like two fills, three fills, or four fills. Right. But what if a customer want to print 500 labels? Mm -hmm. Here we come as Epson. Right. We offer the short run uh, label printer. Mm -hmm. So if this guy wants to print 500, he will go there to the print press. He will tell him, you have to pay for the 100,000. Mm. Right. It's minimum. You right. cannot go less. Right. So our Epson printer offers this. You, can, you want to print 500, you want to print 1,000, mm -hmm. 2,000, you want to print one label. Okay. You can print. Okay. Okay. No okay. problem. Okay. And from your PC directly to the printer, mm -hmm. on demand. Very good. Okay. Yeah, no need to go to the print press. There is no time delay. Mm -hmm. It's in-house mm -hmm. label printing. Makes sense. Yeah. And one important point is color. Mm. So so many people do the label printing, but we do the color label printing. All right. This right. is the uh, right. The so uh, so right now, uh, when did you start this actually? Uh, so we market? have like those two products since like two years two now. Years two now. years and a half. Mm -hmm. We have a previous product, but it was not like much focused. But mm -hmm. those two printers, they are in the market since two years now. Okay. And we are targeting for those uh, segments. Right. Want to print color label and customize. This is also another point. True. So I was just talking with the gentleman. For example, you are in a hospital. Right. <coughs> and <coughs> you want to print for the new newborn babies. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have to have. Uh, a label for boys, which is blue mm -hmm. label, mm -hmm. and a label for the girls, which is pink. pink yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you print the text. Mm -hmm. This is the conf let's say normal way of printing labels. Uh, maybe you run out of the blue label, mm -hmm. so you need to buy. You need to stock. With Epson, no need to do the stocking part. Mm -hmm. You will not use a big space to to put all of those labels in your uh, warehouse. You just need a normal white label, blank label, and you print everything. Mm -hmm. The color, the text, the image, the logo, everything. Right. So it's on demand color label. Fantastic. Yeah. Whenever you want, you will do it. Right. right. And one more, mm -hmm. if if with the print press, if you have like big amount and mm -hmm. any small uh, changes is required mm -hmm. in date, mm -hmm. in promotion, mm -hmm. you want to reduce the price. Right and you have like thousands of labels, you will throw them, mm -hmm. and then you go to the print press again and buy. Correct. But with our printer, with the software, you, you change the software, mm. the label, and you print now. Mm. No need to throw anything. Very good. Environmentally friendly as well. Yes. True. So True. this is the concept. We can talk more about the product features, but this is the, the concept. Mm -hmm. That's maybe great. Can, maybe Hakimi can highlight uh, maybe some more about it. Yeah. Well, this is the concept. Very good. Yeah, I think he said uh, most of, most of it. Yeah. But the idea is to to allow, I mean, the customers or end users mm. uh, ultimately to have more flexibility. Right. Uh, not to be bound by traditional market limitations. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and emphasize on that on-demand feature. Mm -hmm. So, as you know, the world is moving away from buying in bulk yeah. 
owning hardware yes. and so on. So it's, everything is going towards uh, subscription-based, custom-made, right. on-demand features. Yes. So, and I think labeling, branding, and packaging is, is following. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so that's the idea behind, um, I mean, our interest in this segment, because mm -hmm. we have seen uh, a potential worldwide. Mm -hmm. We started early in Japan, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, maybe even 10 years ago, I think, and then developed into the US market, European market, and we've seen a huge growth year on year. So mm -hmm. we're trying to explore uh, the same in the Middle East market mm -hmm. uh, so far. So Japan is known to uh, adopt the just-in-time uh, policy, so I think this is exactly the yeah same. right and being a japanese company yeah. so <laughs> we would probably launch the f i mean our prototypes in in japan mm -hmm. in general I mean, right, right, in, right. Uh, regardless right, right. Um, yeah so so that's that's the idea perfect uh, it's about on demand about flexibility mm -hmm. uh, about color of course mm -hmm. uh, as epson we are uh, we are known for the inkjet technology in general right and for the color uh, rendering also mm -hmm. specifically so it's it's within our uh, motto let's say perfect okay yeah great stuff um if you look at uh, the global uh, research analysis 60% uh, of the labels are printed in less than 10000 quantity okay uh, so that's where we are focusing, um, short-run labels. Mm -hmm. Now, the biggest challenge uh, that exists in this market is, um, you know, changing the mindset of uh, the printer itself, of the converter itself, to focus on the smaller quantities. Um, I think that's a bigger challenge uh, that we are facing. It's not about product, it's not about solutions. You know, uh, professionals do understand what solutions are available. Of course, they need to study in depth, but uh, it's the mindset because they are used to of a certain technology. They are used to of a certain mechanism. They are used to of certain, uh, you know, pros and cons uh, um, of that particular uh, environment. Um, so I think that the trend is is changing slightly, slightly, but the uh, but the pace is not uh, you know strong enough. Uh, uh, it is changing at a very slow pace, um, but I think uh, it's going to it's going to have a revolution because this is one segment of the entire. Uh, if you look at the uh, print domain, you know, commercial and packaging and labeling. Um, this is one um, uh, area where uh, the projection is quite significant. Um, so that's where we are focusing. Uh, but as I said, uh, the challenge remains to be uh, uh, not probably the manufacturers. I think uh, is changing the mindset of the uh, of the of the of the service provider. Of the service provider. Uh, they need to have adaptability towards uh, the new trend, the new technology. Um, they need to educate their customers. You know that uh, you know uh, that the end customer need to understand also the benefit of uh, short run on demand uh, uh, label printing. But there is a big scope and that's where we are focusing. We have been in this business about three years. We have had uh, two generations of our label uh, solutions uh, and we have done you know, quite well. Um, globally we have um, you know, good install base. Um, here also we have started, we have uh, a few install base. Um, we would like to see it more like anybody else. And we are sure that once the knowledge passes on, uh, to both ends, uh, service provider and the end user, uh, uh, looking at the benefits, uh, then I'm sure that the pace is going to be even faster. Uh, we started about a uh, year and a half, two years ago. Yeah, year and a half. Yeah. So some markets uh, uh, have good acceptability. Some markets are 
uh, you know, still in the slow process. Uh, there's a lot of interest, though. There's a lot of interest. But I think it's the, um, it's the, uh, the, the service providers. You know, there are two levels of service providers. Uh, one, who are already into label, and they would like to diversify their business from conventional to short runs. And the second one is uh, who are who want to be in business, who want to be in label business, right? Uh, so the ones who are already into label business, um, they already have the full setup, full environment, you know. So for them, uh, short going into short run label, uh, you know, is changing is is the adaptability, is the, is the acceptance. The ones who are in commercial business and would like to go into short run digital, uh, because they have had this migration of, you know, if we go into, go back into offset, you know, because they have been through this migration phase from offset into digital transformation for cut sheet and, you know, so they have seen that transformation. So they are sure of the success once they get into it. Uh, but I think is the the unsurety is around uh, will they be able to get enough business, uh, you know, to to sustain their investment, to justify their investment? Would they have enough ROI? So those are the challenges. But I'm sure it, you know, with time it will it will overcome. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. So uh, which of the industries that you're looking at, like for example, you said you talk about a hospital, uh, but. What are the various industries that you're looking at at the moment? Uh, yeah, healthcare is one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Healthcare is one of the industries, yeah. and the packaging, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, we do these like packaging for, let's say, uh, you go to petrol stations, for example, and they sell you those uh, sandwiches yeah, or yeah, yeah. small snacks or mm -hmm. small meals mm -hmm. to to label them, mm -hmm. and by time, like especially in Europe. Now there are regulations mm -hmm. that you have to mention the the ingredients mm -hmm. of this sandwich mm -hmm. and the calories yeah. and all of that mm -hmm. in color. Mm -hmm. So in there, they are doing good job with that. Mm -hmm. So no, once these regulations come here, mm -hmm. um, <coughs> that will be a good uh, target for us. But don't you think color as opposed to a black and white, which where your ink is you know, more healthier, I would say, as compared to color ink, don't you think uh, it, it's a it's better to use a black and white, I mean black ink rather than a color? So the, the conventional way is um, black and white, which is thermal transfer. Mm -hmm. So it's like, that's no ink really. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, in our case, there is ink, which is uh, color. Mm -hmm. um, which is more environmentally friendly? I don't know which one is more environmentally <laughs> Okay, so let me put it this way. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we, we cannot really say which one is more. <coughs> each, each one has its limitations and its advantages. Right. The conventional, uh, let's say, direct thermal or thermal transfer printing mm -hmm. type mm -hmm. um, will, be, will consume more power in general. Mm -hmm. It's a thermal technology, so you need to generate heat True. to print out something. Okay. So your, this will reflect in your electricity bill, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm and uh, on the carbon footprint in general, sure. taking in co consideration the number of label printers mm -hmm. uh, running in the market at a, at a point of time. Sure. Um, so that's one thing. Mm -hmm. When you go to inkjet technology, mm -hmm. it's, it's really a, a cold technology. Mm -hmm. So our, our, let's say, regular office printer will consume probably five to 10 watts of power at any point of time, oh. whether printing or uh, on a standby. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a big step, reducing your electricity bill, right. reducing your carbon footprint, mm -hmm. and so on. Right. Uh, then using ink, uh, it really depends. You know, the, we as Epson, we, we are very keen on, uh, on using proper uh, regulated eco-friendly when possible uh, ingredients for or uh, component for our inks. Mm -hmm. uh, most of our inks are water-based, I guess. Yes. Um, and 
most of them are even uh, food industry safe sure. okay. by standards. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so these factors combined, we think, makes the inkjet technologies an, a technology for the future. Mm -hmm. And we are seeing even um, a shift in the mindset, mm -hmm. even for the office printing uh, segment or the copier segment, right. where it is really dominated by laser technology laser technology is, is not eco-friendly at all. Mm -hmm. So first, due to the high uh, power consumption, mm -hmm. and second, due to the, the toner uh, composition, right. uh, the, the chemicals that, that makes a toner in general. Right. Um, yeah, so we are also on, an, on the other side trying to, to, to change and educate, uh, change the mindset of the printing industry or the printing uh, arena in general. Mm -hmm towards the inkjet technology. Perfect, perfect. So if you could list down a vertical, uh, in a sense of vertical industry that you're looking at, say healthcare. Yeah, so, so I'll put it simply. Yeah. Uh, we are in the Middle East. Right. We are not industrialized countries in general, except some exceptions like Egypt, they have a, a very nice industry base. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of other countries in North Africa and so on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, unfortunately or fortunately, we are a consumer market, let's yeah, say. Yeah. So for our uh, on-demand label printers, yeah. our main uh, vertical is the food industry. Okay. Um, yeah, so anything related to uh, packaging, uh, labeling of uh, uh, food items in general, mm -hmm. as uh, Graham mentioned, your, your typical sandwich at a petrol station, that's really on-demand because right. That these are small quantities that happens every day. Uh, it's not mass production. Uh, yeah, so food is, th is the main industry, followed by any other type of manufacturing, let's say. Mm -hmm. Wherever you need a label to be placed on your product directly or on your product package, mm -hmm. whether for logistic purpose, safety purpose, or for a retail and branding purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, so food is number one, followed by chemical industry, uh, all your cosmetics uh, industry, mm -hmm. beauty and cosmetics, um, then yeah, healthcare mm -hmm. for uh, labeling right. patient mm -hmm. files, wristbands. Mm -hmm. uh, another small industry is yours, mm -hmm. you guys, the event industry, yeah. your badge which is printed at, at the check-in. Mm -hmm. uh, we know it's made conventionally now, with a pre-printed um, template, adding the text on check-in. Right. So that's another segment for us. It's small, but it's it's a growing segment and it has potential. So maybe we can sell them a couple of printers here. Right. <laughs> they will be the custom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, so uh, as back to the on-demand feature. Imagine we come at the last moment mm -hmm. and we sign a sponsorship agreement with you mm -hmm. and we want our logo to be on the badge. Mm -hmm you already printed your template without Epson logo. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to do it. Mm -hmm. When you have an on-demand solution, you still can do it mm -hmm. till the very last moment. Right. Epson came as a sponsorship, no problem. Pay the money, you'll get your logo printed mm -hmm. because you can print it at any time. Mm -hmm. You have just blank labels. Okay. So that's the on-demand feature. Mm -hmm. So actually, you can mon the, the end user sometimes can monetize it, yeah. not only consume it. You know, sure. so that's another, uh, let's say, another strategy or way to put it sure. to an end customer. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. So, what about the these labels that are printed? The, these ones. Yeah. So that's another segment for monetizing uh -huh. again. Uh -huh. So, uh, as as I mean, as such, we don't target this market mm -hmm. because this is purely mm, traditional mass market. Right. Uh, what we target is a customer like Shangri-La. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, a customer like Shangri-La can come to you guys. You organize this event, right? right. They can come to you. They will propose. Mm -hmm. Do you want Arwa water on the table during the event, mm -hmm. or do you want a custom label with your event name on the on the tables? Sure. They will charge you for that. Mm -hmm. They are using my printer, right. but they are monetizing that. So that goes for weddings, for conferences, for events in general. Right. So all these small pieces here, mm -hmm. the label itself. Mm -hmm. So these are small niche markets, Correct. to be frank. Right. 
they don't the the bathroom tickets uh, yeah the valley bathroom tickets. exactly anywhere where you can place a brand mm -hmm. and monetize that is a potential area for us okay. because okay it's a label printer but also it's a paper printer mm -hmm. we can do tickets mm -hmm. with the same unit right, right. so label slash ticketing or mm -hmm. badges or yeah. so it's not paper based right everything is like on plastic do you, if you can do it on plastic as well or any uh, it is paper based but you can uh, you can use synthetic uh, synthetic uh, media like polyethylene, polypropylene, mm. uh, inkjet, mm, okay. inkjet based uh, substrate, basically. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Great. Yeah. At Middle East Office, we are responsible for uh, GCC, um, Pakistan, and Iran, which is of course. Uh, dormant right now. Um, so that's our uh, portfolio. Uh, in terms of verticals, um, you know, food and beverages. So, so you know, it's, it's quite wide scope for uh, label business, you know, food and beverages, healthcare, uh, cosmetics, lubricants, you know, detergents, you know, so, so, uh, so these are the mass producers of uh, labels. And that's where you know you go in and and uh, you know pitch your solutions for short runs, you know, because they would need solutions for sampling, for uh, you know customized labels, you know, like you know instead of Irva, if it could have been SGI, uh, you know. So these are the solutions for labels that we target. Perfect. Yeah. So when you have a And I've been contracting a person, I mean a company that prints these labels. Now that's in say maybe 500,000 bottles I, you know, I need, I sell per day. Mm. So I have a tense relationship with somebody. Mm. Now how can you come into the picture and uh, you know kind of uh, uh, get the market? Okay, so when you said 500,000 per day, then you are talking to the wrong person. Okay. Short, okay. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, that's not our business. That's not where we are focusing. Okay. However, as I said, mm -hmm. within that five hundred thousand, there are there are many uh, uh, areas okay. that could be tapped. Right. One is, uh, you know, you could customize. Mm -hmm. You know, you could do sampling. Right. Um, you know, so these are the opportunities within that five hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. But if you are looking at five hundred thousand a day, that's mass production. Mass production. Yeah. So suppose say the argument say if it's like say ten fifteen thousand, there are no, I mean uh, items. So it could be any any other product. Yeah, yeah. That's, so, that's so I'm saying what I'm trying to say is if he that company yeah. is using a conventional mm. printer, mm. Uh, now how can you get into? It? Why I'm asking you this question is because we can then try to promote you in that way. Mm. You see, there are a uh, couple of angles to look at. You know, you need to look at the value of uh, short run, not just a particular product, the value of short run. The value of short run is time. Mm -hmm. mm. That's the most important thing, mm. time. Um, and of course, the cost, mm. all right? Um, so if, why, so where do we need to, uh, you know, target in terms of changing the mindset is, if you, you know, are a potential customer, and your requirement is only 10,000 labels, why should you pay for half a million labels, right? So that's where we need to educate you, okay? Um, why should you wait for a week when you can have the labels, if not the same day, the next day, right? So these are the potential areas for uh, short-run labels, okay? Now, see, you are all multinational, you know, companies. Now, what about the, uh, you know, other vendors, you know, which are like not tier one, but tier two, tier three players who are competing with you in this market? Mm -hmm. So how's, how's that, you know, enhancing or ruining your market? Um, as far as, you know, if you look at uh, the, the label domain, mm. you know, there are entry level products, then there is middle tier, then there are high-end products, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. um, we have no interest 
going into entry level because that's not our area. Yeah. Uh, high end, yeah. there are many solutions. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. there are many solutions. Right. Uh, middle tier is one where uh, the solutions are very limited, mm -hmm. very very limited. Mm -hmm. So that's where we focus on the middle tier. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, because at the high end, there are other challenges. Okay, high-end challenges, you know, then you are looking at uh, multinationals who, you know, have huge volumes, mm -hmm. uh, who are very particular to certain, you know, requirements for colors and, you know, all that. Um, and then, you know, because they represent their brands globally, so they need to have certain consistency. So there are, there are many, many challenges at the high-end. Um, entry level is, you know, like, you know, tabletop, desktop kind of uh, products. So we, that's not our interest. Middle tier is, is an opportunity where, um, uh, you know, we are focused. That's where we are penetrating. Mm -hmm. And that's where the opportunity is good because there are not, not many players mm -hmm. um, so for, for solutions. Sure. Yeah. How, how has e-commerce, uh, you know, kind of uh, helped you? Do you think e-commerce industry has kind of given you a kind of push in the market? Uh, <clears throat> let's say it has a potential for a push, to be frank. Mm -hmm. um, it, we had a couple of nice case studies in Europe. Yeah. It's, a, it's a more mature market and we started earlier there, so uh, sometimes we reflect on their experience. Uh, as the e-commerce is growing also here, so mm -hmm. it may create similar opportunities. Right. Um, yeah, so e-commerce in general, and especially um, uh, startups, where they don't have the means or uh, the willingness to invest in very high or sophisticated uh, solutions or investing in stocks and so on, mm -hmm. so are also a, a key, probably, uh, vertical for us. Uh, when it comes to on-demand labeling. Right. Uh, but also another uh, segment is the, uh, is the bigger uh, key player in the e-commerce, mm -hmm. um, like the logistic companies mm -hmm. in charge of fulfillment of, uh, of e-commerce orders. Mm -hmm. And again, it, it helps them to monetize the thing. So imagine your Aramex, mm -hmm. who is dealing probably with hundreds of e-commerce uh, companies. Mm -hmm. Uh, they can either create a normal label for the package or a label with the e-commerce website or, or logo uh, on demand. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's just an idea, a p potential to, to explore in, in the e-commerce uh, arena. Yeah. Okay. So you said something in Europe, you have three particular studies. Uh, can you just highlight a few points? Like what, what yeah, it's, it's DHL. Okay. We, we, um, we had a project with DHL a uh, couple of years ago, mm -hmm. where again, uh, DHL was able to propose to his or their customers whether to have a regular black on white shipping label on their e-commerce orders or a customized label with a color logo mm -hmm. at a specific small additional rate, but it counts in volume at right. the end. Right. So. Uh, and they had great success, I mean, especially for small e-commerce companies mm -hmm. where they don't have probably any of any label at all to, sure. to label their shipment. Right. So it was a good opportunity for them to, to, uh, to advertise their brand mm -hmm. and raise awareness about their brand right. from the package itself, mm -hmm. starting from the receiving the package, that experience of opening the package and so on. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so DHL could... Do that. Propose an additional service to their customers, mm -hmm. invest in our printers, and monetize them, basically. So just to understand that, like, for example, I uh, ordered a product, right. and, um, you know, I'm a startup, and I ordered a product, DHL printed it, mm -hmm. okay? Now, what is the cost of that additional cost that the consumer has to bear? I don't think the consumer will feel anything. No? I okay. think it's an investment by the startup, anyway. Okay, okay. Uh, cool. Yeah, I think they put it that way. Uh -huh. It doesn't really reflect on the uh, on the end user or whoever. So, sure. So yeah. that's the idea. Yeah. Cool. And what about the uh, what about you? I mean, would you like to say something on the e-commerce front? Uh, we 
we have had this input from some of our customers um, who say that there are many short-run jobs available um, uh, through through the internet. Okay, and these, of course, these are mostly these jobs mostly belong to the e-commerce guys. So, so you know, volumes have gone up because of this uh, e-commerce. Uh, yeah, short-run volumes have have gone up. Yeah. Which are the markets that you're looking at right now? So UAE, as you said, you know, it's a consumer-oriented market. Uh, so Egypt, you said it's more, you know, stronger in terms of all the, uh, you know, infrastructure that they have for your industry. So apart from that, now that you're here in the UAE, which are the markets that you're looking at? So the reason why I'm asking you is because we plan to send communication uh, you know, over the next three, four months and five, six months before the show to attract these people to come to SGI for your benefit? Okay. Actually, uh, there are like plenty of the market segments we are targeting. Mm -hmm. We mentioned already some of them, the, mm -hmm. the healthcare. The no, that's the vertical industries. I'm saying the geographical markets, Africa, those ah, kind of, okay. yeah, yeah. To yeah. For you to get the buyers. Oh, of course, uh, Saudi is there. Mm -hmm. Especially now, Saudi, they have this... Uh, new entertainment things is happening there. Right, right. So a lot of cinemas are yeah, opening, yeah, a lot of, exactly. uh, uh, how to call it? <laughs> the theme park, parks, the theme parties parks. or parks, yeah. the parks, yes. all of that. So yeah. they need ticketing yes. uh, mm -hmm. solutions. Mm -hmm. So our printer can work for that, as right. Hakimi mentioned, for mm -hmm. those event management solutions. True, true. When you go inside this park, you need this uh, mm -hmm. ticket mm -hmm. to get inside. Mm -hmm. Because... Of course, yeah. Saudi is important <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. country and Egypt and all okay, Middle so East. Uh, Any specific markets are you looking at apart from Saudi and Egypt? Uh, of course, UAE is. Uh, yeah, very UAE important. anyways, <laughs> definitely. UAE yes. is there. What about Oman, Bahrain? Of course, w we have good relation with our partners in Oman, Bahrain, okay. uh, Kuwait. Of course, Kuwait is is also leading in that. Are you getting any inquiry from Africa? Do you want people from Africa also? So Africa, there, of course, there are inquiries. Mm -hmm. But we as a regional office for Middle East, mm -hmm. we don't get involved in that. Right. If there is a request like that, we pass it to the, the Epson Afri Africa, Africa office. Right. Right. OK, OK, yeah. great. So, right. so there are, but we don't handle it directly. We mm -hmm. send it to Epson Africa office. Right, no, because there's no show in Africa. Uh, like us, you know, SGI. So what happens is every year we see a lot of Africans coming to uh, our show. Yes. Uh, so we um, engage, uh, you know, uh, them throughout the year through various means of communication and uh, try to get them also to come to our show. Mm -hmm. So uh, what happens is when they see a particular potential, they make bulk orders. So okay. that's why I'm asking, I mean, like, if you... So we can do the education mm. for them. A lot, of course, mm. each year we are participating in yeah. SGI yeah, yeah. with you, gentlemen. Right, right. So there are a lot of customers from Africa. So we do the education part. Mm -hmm. Once there is, like, order request, we mm. pass it to the... African uh, office. Epson office in Africa. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. There are some shows in Africa, by the way. Yeah, uh, Africa Print is uh, the one, but yeah, then... But South Africa is for the yeah. packaging industry. Yeah. I used to handle Africa before. Okay, okay, okay. For Epson and before for right. Brothers. So right, right. Uh, yeah, a couple of shows in South in Africa. In South yeah. Africa, mm -hmm. and a lot of labeling happening there. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not large format oriented mm -hmm. as SGI, right? Signage and so on, but right. it's more into packaging and labeling. Packaging and labeling. Okay. Uh, there are a couple in uh, Egypt okay. happening. Mm -hmm. We participated in some of them. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So. I think in Morocco there is one also. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so as he said, our since we are just in, in this region, mm -hmm. our key markets are UAE, Saudi, and Egypt. Egypt, yeah. Your Oman, Qatar, Bahrain, Kuwait can be combined. Combined, yeah. As a, a small market. True, true, true. And then Iran, mm -hmm. if, if it uh, <laughs> comes back to its normal uh, situation, uh, situation yeah. is a big potential, especially for industries. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, when you are looking to uh, invest, to establish uh, a conventional environment for labeling, uh, you know, it's a big investment you're looking at. So our solutions, you know, uh, make, uh, provide very affordable solutions, you know. Uh, 
Um, so that's why we are looking at two segments mainly uh, within the you know the printing environment. One is the existing converters who use conventional uh, methods, you know, educate them and you know drive them to a shortened business. And on the other side, um, the commercial market, uh, the domain is much bigger for commercial market. You know, uh, to educate them and uh, diversify their business. Uh, you know, not just focus on commercial, but uh, diversify their business into other side of printing, which is uh, the label side, uh, where the potential growth is quite significant, is more than the commercial side, as we all know. Um, so, so that's in terms of uh, a market size, of course, we all know Saudi is the biggest opportunity. Um, so we are looking at Saudi, uh, we are looking at UAE. Um, and of course, you know, the other markets also have, you know, small potential. So we would like, we are looking to explore anything and everything that is available um, to be explored. Right. Yeah. So do you think uh, there's anything uh, to do with, say, the Expo 2020 and other big events that are happening? Do you think you are participating in that? Uh, Yes, as a general rule, uh, anything that is affecting the entertainment, food and beverage, hospitality, and retail industries are uh, a potential for us, directly or indirectly. So as Graham mentioned, in, uh, in Saudi Arabia, the opening up of the entertainment uh, uh, industry and segments, uh, hospitality, they are building a lot of uh, hotels, resorts in there. So that drives direct consumption or indirect consumption of food. Mm -hmm. uh, food being our main main vertical, sure. that will reflect on our uh, numbers and potential mm -hmm. in general. So, mm -hmm. so it works like that. We don't have specific direct uh, <coughs> effect on, on Expo, let's say, for example, as such. There may be a couple of opportunities, mm -hmm. but the indirect effect is higher. Right. We could sell a couple of printers to make tickets, mm -hmm. but that's not the deal. Mm -hmm. The deal is what's happening around. Mm -hmm. How many visitors will come in, consume food, go to restaurants, and so on. So that will drive the, uh, the market in general. Right. Yeah. And uh, what is the price range of your printers? Like, it ranges from where? So our, our range is the desktop range. Mm, our Key, key range, so very affordable solutions mm -hmm. for in-house printing. So anything that starts from a couple of thousand dollars to, let's say, less than ten thousand okay. dollars. Uh, but we also uh, we also operate in a um, in the mid-tier segment. Mm -hmm. Recently, we started uh, with the uh, Sure Press range, mm -hmm. um, which is not really for print for use, it's more for print for pay. So for conventional uh, label press who wants to diversify into digital. Mm -hmm. So that's competing with, with the gentleman here a bit <laughs> somehow. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's, it's just started, I think. Uh, we had a couple of install, installs in the region. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a new area of focus. My colleague Mahmoud is in charge, but he could not make it today. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. Great. And, uh, so when you say print on demand, I mean, if suppose I am sitting here and I've got a printer in, say, UK, you know, and I've got an event happening there, you know, so can I do something from here? I mean, is it like, is it manageable? Or do you have to, the event? Yeah, you can, right? So that's basically software, yeah. uh, software oriented. Mm -hmm. question most mm -hmm. probably we, we do the hardware part okay. and we know we cannot sell the hardware as such you right, know right so what we do is we we go in partnership with uh, with the channel mm -hmm. in general mm -hmm. uh, specialist resellers integrators and so on who will build up a solution right a piece of software mm -hmm. our printer they will go and fetch for the media substrate mm -hmm. according to end the end user request mm -hmm. put up a solution go to the end user. Okay. So that's how it works. Okay. So okay. yeah, that's why even in our exhibitions and so on, we invite these guys to to come in and showcase their uh, software solutions and so on along with our okay. hardware part.
Mexico. Any new products that you're launching in the next few months or this year? Uh, probably after SGI, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there are a couple of products. Mm -hmm. They will be shown in the Label Expo in September, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure if we can show them yet here. Mm -hmm. I think we're launching in our new fiscal year, which is April. Okay. I cannot give mo more sure. details, but sure. they will be in the a complementary complementing product for our current desktop range. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah. Any new products that you launch during that? Yeah, certainly. Certainly. We we will be. In fact, uh, as I said earlier, this is we are currently in our uh, second generation of uh, label solutions. Uh, so uh, we will be of course uh, have having more solutions in the future yeah yeah regular ones any challenges in the industry like for example you have your products you want to reach out to the end consumer so I there are two ways one is you go directly and connect with the consumer uh, which is like a manufacturing unit uh, or you go through somebody else so how does that work like yeah, we do both. We go through the, the reseller or we go through the, uh, the ourselves mm -hmm. to the end user. Okay. Uh, I agree with the gentleman. Mm. Uh, changing the mindset. Mm. We face this all the time. Mm. The, 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 the market here is still, in their mind, this old way of what is the cost per level. Mm. Before I get to know about mm. your printer price, mm. tell mm. me the cost of it. Mm. Come on, it's a <laughs> completely different story True. Yeah, yeah. between black and white mm. label and color label. Color label, yeah. Completely different. So this is like the uh, major uh, challenge we have, the changing the mindset. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so that's one. Uh, so, uh, so there are two people that you connect with, as I said. One is the person who is a man. Uh, we the have our partners mm -hmm. who we do education for them. We give them printers for demo. We give them samples. Mm -hmm the pricing and we can talk to the end users themselves like big guys okay like al shari al sure. big guys okay okay contact them directly okay so okay okay cool so uh, so mindset is one thing any other thing yes. that you Maybe would want to so that we can help you in that front in yeah, whatever so way possible exactly so uh, a couple of other challenges maybe it's it's related to the maturity of of the concept itself yeah. it's new mm -hmm. that's fine mm -hmm. uh, there are ch challenges you face when you come uh, with a new new solution to a market yeah so uh, probably a, a bit lack of specialized channel mm -hmm. uh, specialized service providers mm -hmm. who can go with a complete solution labeling solution to an end user or a key account mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to to other regions in the world yeah uh, yeah so there are a couple of partners, but it's still limited uh, to serve this whole region. Right. Uh, so, so, so this is one of the challenges: is mm. how to find out these specialized partners, or how to convert a traditional, mm, conventional label uh, specialist into uh, digital and into on-demand labeling. Mm. So that's one of the challenges. Mm. Uh, Another challenge is probably the availability of substrate. Okay. Since it's new, and since the install base is quite low for the market still, mm. uh, we have some challenges in, in getting the right media yeah. made available locally mm. for the end users. Right. right. So the label converters or the label label uh, manufacturers in the region are a bit reluctant mm -hmm. to invest in in keeping stocks of uh, inkjet based media here okay, okay so this is another challenge but it's it's improving actually mm -hmm. because they've seen the the uh, growing demand mm -hmm. uh, of install base mm -hmm. yeah so i think these are a couple of of uh, main challenges perfect 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 there are certain things you can certainly help, and there are certain things I don't think you can have any uh, resolution to that. The thing that you cannot uh, help, I, I think you cannot help, is the commercial side. Okay, our partners uh, are facing uh, you know major challenges as far as commercial aspects are concerned. You know, there are many customers who show interest; they want to have it. You know, 
but they don't want they want to have it on uh, you know longer payment terms uh they approach uh financial institutions you know they you know some are accepted some are not some are declined you know so that's one aspect very very important if you want to boost uh, not just us but the overall print industry so how you can help that i don't know maybe you can engage financial institutions and educate them <coughs> on the size of the opportunity that exists in this market for uh, print and overall print industry so if you can take that up as a challenge you would be different and you would be helping us so that's one side the other side is you know what most manufacturers do they focus uh, on manufacturers no what, sorry what event organizers do they uh, they focus on manufacturers they focus uh, investment from manufacturers okay to facilitate the end user okay uh, you you need to somebody need to do it the other way around you need to focus investment you know for a change on the on the customers and help manufacturers you know um, you need to provide us manufacture the platform you know, to you know market our products uh, you know so uh, you need to bring in the footfall from from the customer side as well okay so you put a lot of efforts following up with manufacturers you know take a booth you know give a sponsorship bring a machine but i think you need to have your efforts at the end of the customer as well you know you need to come have some incentive for them you know motivate them to come you know do you do that i i don't know uh, okay okay so okay yeah but but how much you do that, that, that not just you but overall yeah there are many exhibitions happening you know many many i was just talking to this gentleman you know gulf print just finished now you know you are organizing one i was talking to this uh, labels and labels yesterday you know they have something doing just around the corner they are organizing i think in a couple of weeks so too many things happening but when you look at uh, the size of uh, the equipment get sold uh, you know the ratio is very small uh, so which means that the quality footfall need to be more uh the education at uh the end of uh, at the customer end uh, need to be more um manufacturers are you know known already you know you would always have us coming and attending your events but you know do you bring enough uh, quality customers enough footfall to help us you need to help us also we are helping you right yeah to organize events so you need to help us also uh so that's another side if you can I work on that uh, thank you for that information what uh, we do normally is i mean uh, we ensure that the brand is alive on a monthly basis okay like what happens is many people many um, you know exhibitors they come to the show but they come at the fag end of the, the show in terms of uh, signing up or whatever it is so what we do is what we have uh, we have analyzed people who uh, you know in the past so these people who came earlier we use our platform okay and it's a very curated platform social media platform that we have so we promote your products beforehand you got what I'm, for not for uh, one day or two days but 6 months 7 months your products are there on our platform so when people are uh, you know across the globe are uh, viewing that they know that you know there's something for us that is there in the show otherwise there are so many things today you know in your mobile also there are 10 groups you will have then you know a lot, lot of distraction so we need to have in today's day and age you need a consistent messaging you need to be there in the public domain on a at least not daily basis maybe weekly basis at least so it doesn't have to be your product it can be your viewpoint on the industry it can be as you said about substrate you, you talked about you know many other challenges you talk about you know what you can do for the healthcare industry all we need to do is maybe you know you provide us with a one minute video exactly you know product forget it product you can you know the moment people know that uh, you know you are into that business and you are making sense in in your testimonials that's when people will come to you 
you got what I'm saying. So that is what we educate people because many people uh, are there who bring the product at the end and then you know try to sell it. It doesn't happen. You know, any new movie, for example, you go and watch, like for example, Avengers. The the trailer started long time back. You got what I'm saying. So that is the excitement that we need to create, and we need your help on that one. You know, it could be um, you know something that you're printing for a particular brand. Okay, if you have permission or anything, you know, on those lines. So let's build a case study around it. Not too long, two minutes, three minutes case study. In that, we put the uh, you know uh, number saying that. 50,000 or 10,000 labels printed, color labels printed in so and so for this company. We are looking at healthcare. We are looking at this. So those kind of things, if we get, we can then promote it. So that will attract a lot of eyeballs and a lot of footfalls. Yeah, sure. Definitely, we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. which is like good number for us mm -hmm. in, in, in Saudi Arabia for Ministry of Health. Mm -hmm. So we can share with you like full details. So I got your point. So you want to share a study case or case exactly. study for the people to know about it exactly. and to get the solution, right. to, to, to get the concept. Exactly. So, so we can do that. Exactly. So what happens is when you have done for Saudi Ministry of Health, that means there's a stamp of endorsement from Ministry of Health, Saudi Arabia, Had, uh, no, Had is Abu Dhabi. So your Had is there, then DHA is there, then uh, you know you have uh, you know so many in the GCC countries. They all know that okay, it's been already done in Saudi. Yes. Why not us? Exactly. You got what I'm saying. So they will get to know about. So it. you just and that too, two minutes. So those kind of videos, if you can send us on a monthly basis, this will help you, help us, hel mm. help everyone. And this is one case. We have and it's doable cases. and it's not expensive. <laughs> it's just it's yeah. doable. Yeah, that, that's actually a great approach. Uh, <coughs> but again, uh, you know, we as multinational also have our own internal yes, process yes, for yes, uh, yes. how to handle PR and true, so on. True, true. Uh, so yeah, we'll probably put you in touch with our PR agency and our internal marketing team sure. who's handling these mm -hmm. case studies. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can work together and see yeah, yeah, of how course. you can use, make yeah. use of these. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Because the thing is, uh, today you need to communicate a lot uh, know. You know, and with your your customers, that's yeah. the only way to uh, you know attract people. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, I I think uh, otherwise. I think otherwise. I, you know, if you start promoting one brand, you know, then you are not making many friends. Yes. You know, you start promoting them, or you start promoting us, then you know. I think you need to be fair and square, and, and you, you know, you should be talking more about the industry exactly. rather than no, their product. Don't, we don't do that. We yeah. Don't, uh, so product. yeah. It is yeah. Branding we look at. Yeah. We look at the industry. So yeah. yeah. So you might have to say we have got ten thousand products that you know which are just this. You should if yeah. you ask them, so it's it's going to fall flat on the face. Mm. So it has to be how you will add value to our product. Yeah. So to think, think, think about it. Think of a plan. How you want to execute it. Uh, of course, you know market segmentation for everyone is different. Yeah. So think of a plan. You know, and then let's see if if it, if it will work out. Huh? Okay. Okay. Is there anything else that you would want to add? Yeah, I want to ask a small comment. Yeah. Previously, you mentioned about like our product, our company, and competition. Mm -hmm. So the conventional way nowadays is the thermal or thermal transfer. <coughs> so when we come as color label printer, mm -hmm. there is no real competition. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're the only one. Okay. No, I'm, I'm not saying we are the only one. Okay, okay. But the common one is black and white sure. label printing. Mm -hmm. Zebra. <laughs> right. yeah. Everyone knows yeah. that. Yeah. And they are great in that. Right. But who do color label printing? Mm -hmm. Very less. And we are one of the, the best in that. So you ask about competition. Mm -hmm. So really, it's hardly hard. It's not like there too much. It's like maybe we are the only one or other two com yeah. two brands, but not too much. Oh, okay. Just to, to answer your question, like you had this question about mm -hmm. competition. Yeah, so, yeah. So, uh, so we don't compete with the black and white printing. At all. Yes. Health
healthcare and event management. Yes, manufacturing. Manufacturing of any product. Anything. Because you maintain some aspects, you cannot really quantify uh, like time. Yeah. You cannot quantify a week waiting yeah. worth of money, mm -hmm. let's say. So that flexibility and on demand should also count. Right. Uh, some some aspects you can quantify, like for example, instead of stocking pre-printed labels in masses, mm -hmm. you would end up buying a small box of white yeah. paper rolls. Mm -hmm. So that you can quantify, and that will also influence the total cost of ownership of any solution. So it's not only really the ink, okay. the consumption of ink, which is obviously death, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but the, the whole picture as compared to the conventional way of printing the lane, mm -hmm. uh, which should be compared. True. Mm -hmm. And going back to your other question about the which industries, mm -hmm. so uh, the guy gave a couple of examples, again, in the food industry, mm -hmm. which, which can be very uh, in a wide yes. variety, yeah, it's you know, it's, yeah. Yeah, almost everything. Yeah. But again, some other very niche industries, uh, which are sometimes very interesting. Uh, we have a couple of, 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 of examples something maybe you, someone will never think about. For example, your e-cigarette. Mm -hmm. The e-cigarette is a liquid or okay. whatever. Yeah. So there are flavors, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a new industry. It's, right. it's growing. Mm -hmm. And it's really an on-demand industry. Mm -hmm. So right. each flavor will have a specific small label with specific color. Mm -hmm. Beach, I don't know, at least that. Mm -hmm. So there was a couple of, of cases of, of installed based in Europe. Yeah. With major manufacturers for the uh, uh, industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so as I said, any manufacturing process of any product is a potential uh, potential customer or potential case study, especially when it comes to again, short runs, uh, changing uh, flexibility, and so on. Another uh, unique case study was. Uh, Manufacturer of shower heads. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So your the, the blue water. Yeah, your typical shower head. Yeah, yeah. So they come in different variety of shapes and uh, water jets and yeah, yeah. how water comes out and so on, soft, hard, mm -hmm. blah blah blah, whatever. Mm -hmm. So in the retail environment, mm -hmm. they wanted a solution to make it easier for the customer to to see the product while passing through. Uh, DIY show or whatever. So yeah, so they used our solution to do that. Oh, very good. To label uh -huh. the package with a nice uh, color coding, a nice picture, and so on. That's mm -hmm. why they needed mm -hmm. flexibility mm -hmm. and color at the same time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, so it's, it's really uh, a wide uh, arena to play in. Excellent. Yeah. Anything you would like to add, sir? Um, you are you are correct that you know. Customers do ask for ink price and all that. Uh, but uh, I'm not sure if that is the only way to look at it. I think better way to look at this is the overall return on investment. Okay, it's, uh, so customers need to look at that, not only ink price. Ink is just one element. Okay, you need to look at overall, overall investment and what kind of return you can generate from from your investment. Yeah, ink is just just one element. Yeah. And as you think about any top five industries, what do you think according to you? Um, you see, again, segmentation is very different. Okay, so we are not into that consumer desktop kind of uh, solutions, right? Uh, but in terms of industries, um, lubricant is a good industry. Uh, you know, detergents, for example, is a good industry. Cosmetic is a good industry. Food and beverage, depending on what sort of volumes uh, you are producing, is a good industry. You know, so there are the scope is quite big, uh, but depends on what you do within that industry is more important. Right, uh, that's why. At the 
you see, we don't uh, work direct. Okay, we work through our partners. Okay, so we have uh, distributors uh, all across the region, um, and we have been working with them 40, 50 years. So you know that's our strategy. We we have been with uh, our partners for a very long time. Uh, so go to market strategy is actually their strategy. You know they they know the market domain uh, better than us. As far as we are concerned, we, we work uh, simultaneous with them. We, we work along with our partners. We take the opportunity to provide them uh, uh, to participate at all major events that happen in the region. You know, SGI is one, uh, we have participated in the past, Gulf Print is another one. And we also do uh, quite a number of uh, our own events uh, where we invite you know, our our own customers. Uh, we do about three events in Saudi a year. We do, you know, at least one, sometimes two events in UAE. In in addition to you know Gulf Prince and LGI, um, and then we also do events in you know Qatar and Oman. So so we we cover uh, our region. Um, with participation at all major events, then we, then we of course uh, utilize, uh, you know, all the leading media that is available uh, in the region. You name it, print week labels and labels, and so so that's that's what we utilize. Like you know, so as a as a part of uh, an education to the end user. Uh, so we do, we do case studies as well. Yes, yes, uh, you would. Very often, see uh, case studies in leading um, media. Um, we are at present doing a few. You will, I think, in the next subscription, uh, in a few leading media, you will see um, a few good case studies. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can, we can, we can. It will, it will be public. I think in the next uh, subscription. So there are a few good ones that we are doing. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, you can. You can. Who knows Pauline? Yeah, you know Pauline. Yeah, you can call her and ask her. She she can provide you. Yeah. Okay. I think All right. we had a very meaningful uh, discussion today, uh, and uh, so we what we will do is we'll be putting everything together. And Bandana is here from Print Week, so we'll uh, you know cover you all in that publication. Plus, we'll be issuing the story across, and uh, we will be uh, waiting to hear from you. We'll send you a mail with what we require from your end uh, for regular promotion. And uh, so if you could just spare some time, because we we'll need you to spend some time on this so that we can help you. So that's one thing which we'll require from you. And uh, any other questions that you have at the moment? Yeah? Are you planning to, to make a special labeling section in yes, the next yes, edition? Yes, 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 such? yes, yes we are. Mm -hmm. So, uh, because uh, th th we got a huge, uh, you know, response from people saying that they require something on those, and that's why, uh, you know, SGI is going to have that. Uh, so, uh, that's why we wanted to, you know, build it up, so we have a lot of these kind of discussions and things like that, and, uh, you know, also webinars and all that we're planning. So, we will, and then if, if we can get you to speak in one of these webinars, that will be wonderful. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, yeah, you can, uh, but only time, like half an hour, if you can dedicate, you know, on a weekly basis or, a month, or you know, maybe one hour in a month or two hours, you know, just to <coughs> give us the intent, that will help us. Okay? No lovely. Thank you so much uh, for you your time, gentlemen. Thanks for inviting. Uh, lovely uh, having you all here. So we'll proceed for lunch. <laughs>